All right, we're gonna do some magic. So here I've got a deck of cards in mm here. -hmm. Ooh. And a DSI. Gonna use this to do the magic, all right? And we're gonna set this aside for a minute so that it can't see what's going on, because there's a camera on it. People get suspicious of that. And Sarah, what I'm gonna need to do is just choose a card out of the deck, any one. That one right there? Okay, you can take a look. Show everyone what you got there. Alright, put that on the table. I'm gonna come over and grab the DSI. And I'm gonna draw a face. You can see I'm a pretty good artist. Okay. Now, I'm gonna give him a nose, like this, and two eyes. And when I draw the mouth, he's going to make a prediction of what your card is. Can you believe that? Alright, here we go. Let's see. Nine of hearts. Definitely. Is that not magic? Is that not some of the best magic you've ever seen in your life? Does that not blow your mind? Alright, well I got something even better for you. I'm going to take the cards right here. We're going to do another trick here. It's going to use my little Rubik's Revolution cube. And again, we need to just choose a card. That's a good looking one there. Alright. Now, I'm going to show the camera. Take a look at that. Okay. Now. What I need to do is just tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Put your card right there on the top. We'll square that up. Go ahead and shuffle the rest of the cards on top. Now, what I'm going to do is take one card. I'm going to put it underneath my Rubik's Cube right here. Two of spades goes underneath the Rubik's Cube. All right. And then we'll take the five of diamonds and put it on top. Okay. Now, I'm going to make the two cards switch places magically. Here we go. Alright. Now that was pretty good, but now I'm going to make them switch back. Now that's real magic, right? Okay, but here, no. I'm going to make them switch places for real. Here we go. Like this. You can see that the two of spades has indeed come to the top of the deck. Now, sir, if you could just take a look at the card that's underneath the cube. And actually, sir, here, before you do that... I'm going to make the card switch back. Okay, I forgot about that. So here, I'll put the Rubik's Cube back. Put the card on top. Snap my fingers again. And now, the Five of Diamonds is on top of the cube. Now, that's what we're doing. Go ahead and take a look at the card underneath the cube. Was that your card, sir? Well, that is excellent. Is that not magic? This has been Magic with Jordan. Thank you very much for tuning in.